Hello everyone, I'm going to be playing some Don't Starve today. These are the six main characters you can play as. This is Wilson, Willow, Wolfgang, Wendy, WXMB, and Wickerbottom. Each of these characters have a unique ability and, and a unique talent that to use to their survival in the game. I'm going to be playing the Don't Starve Together beta, since that I'm playing solo. Maybe later on I'll play some co-op with my friend, hopefully. Well, I would recommend for you guys to play solo, well, just to get around for it first, maybe. But um, I would recommend you guys play Wicker Bottom to start off with. She knows a lot of things and she'll help you out with the game. Like, uh, as you can tell, it says knows many things, so you'll figure out that she can build a lot of things. Uh, I'll show you as we go along in the game. At the beginning, when you first start off in the game, you you want you always want to try to gather as many resources as you can to help you survive. As you gather pieces, you'll you'll end up unlocking stuff to make, as you can see on the far left. I can already make possibly three items worth. The way you'll know is if you hear that sound that always beeps every time you get more items, or you'll know when it has like the green lit up. And there's some pigmen. As you can see, like how I said before, earlier in the video, that uh, she knows a lot of things and she knows how to make a bunch of things. So, you might want to try her out first and you're, if you're barely starting out in this game. And I will be coming, so the night's getting, when it's getting close to the night range, which is the blue area. You want to build a fire pit or carry a torch around. It's really important. Otherwise, you'll die at night. Never seen this place before. Very disturbing. Also, a very useful tip is to press M for a map so you can look where you've been. And also, if you walk along the pathway, as you see right here, you'll run a lot faster.
Alright, first day is already going well. And uh, your fire won't always stay lit. You always want to make sure to monitor it. Because uh, once it gets low, it'll go out. So this is your hunger meter, this is your health meter, and this is your sanity meter. Your sanity meter will go down during the dark most of the time, or sometimes it will drop when you're being attacked. The way to pick up your sanity is to pick up flowers, as you can see it just raised those up right there. Like as many flowers as you can, and if you, and if possible, if you have enough flowers in total, you can make a garland, and they'll keep, and they'll raise your sanity when you're, when you're really low, at least if you're high. It'll just be over time though. Let's try to find some rocks. Oh, there's some beef below. I guess they implement a new way. I'm not really playing online, but they're able to join in, I guess, though. Kind of spider thing.
really wish I could find some rocks, but it's very difficult in the spot I'm in. That's big. Oh, I'm crying now. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so if you guys eat blue ones, blue mushrooms, they'll drop your health or bring your sanity up. Let's try a green one. Okay, the same thing happens with green. Just in case. Oh, I forgot. Keep forgetting that loading a telltale heart will drop your health. Thank you. 
Transported to a different area around the map. You choose to take it. Yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably show you what it's all about. See you guys later and take it easy.